Hello everyone, I am Kirti from Computer Science Department, GSIPU College, Mysore. Today we are continuing with Chapter 5, that is Review of C++, Session 4. Let's start with today's session with header files. What are header files? Header files contain the files of standard functions which may use in our program. Some of the commonly used header files are iostream.h, stdio.h, math.h, ctype.h, string.h and iomanip.h. So what does iostream.h header file contains? So this header file contains C++ stream and routines and IO routines. stdio.h. So this header file contains functions and macros for input output operations math.h so this header file is used when we are using mathematical functions in our program c type.h this header file is used when we are using any character functions in our program string.h header file is used when we are using string functions in our program and next iomanip.h so this header file contains functions and macros for input output manipulations and to perform input output manipulations. So this is about header files and some of the different header files. Next is functions. What are functions? What are functions? Functions uses a philosophy called divide and conquer. Function uses the philosophy called divide and conquer. So, if the program or problem, if the problem is complex and lengthy then we can divide that problem into smaller sub problems so those sub problems we call it as functions a function is a set of instructions which perform the calculations and returns the value when it is called so in functions there are of two types the first one is user defined functions And second type is library functions. So what are library functions? Library functions are the built-in functions which are grouped together and placed in a common place called library. In library functions there are of different types. The first one is mathematical functions second type is character functions third type is string functions and fourth one is console input output functions we have studied in detail about these functions in the previous session itself. Next is user defined function. So what are user defined functions? The functions which are defined by the user to solve his or her own problem is called as user defined function. So let's study in detail about user defined functions. So what is the syntax for user defined function or the structure of user defined function?
the structure of user defined function is return type specifier function name argument list with declaration local variable declarations executable statements So this is our structure of user defined function. So what is return type specifier? Here return type specifier specifies the data type of the function, data type of the function. So the return type specifier could be int, uh, char, float or void. The return type void is used when the function does not return any value to the calling function. So what is function name? Function name is an identifier which identifies the name of the function. And next is argument list with declaration. Argument list with declaration. It means list of we are declaring the arguments here within the parenthesis. Next is local variable declarations. So here within this block, we are going to declare the variables so that it is used only with this, within this block. Hence it is called as local variable declarations. Next is executable statements. So after performing the required operation, the value is returned using return statement if the function does not return any value to the calling function then the statement is not necessary so if if the variables declared within this section is called as local variables declarations and this whole part is called as body of the function This whole part is called as body of the function and this whole line is called as function header is called as function header. So the variables in present in the function header is called as arguments the variables present in the function header is called as arguments. So I hope you understand the structure of user defined function. Next with a simple program using function let's understand the further concepts that is calling function, what is calling function, uh, called function, what is a function header, what is function declaration, types of arguments, local declaration as well as global declaration.
Yes. So, this program is to add two numbers using function. So, first section is preprocessor directive section. Next is int add int x comma int y. So, what is this? This is called as function declaration. So, this is called as function declaration. Like other variables, how we are declaring before using the variables, like we are declaring the function here in, in the global declaration section. Next is void main. So, in void main, inside the void main, int a comma b comma c. So, here we are declaring the variables within this block. Hence, these variables are called as local variables. These variables are called as local variables. If I declare any variables in the global declaration section, then those variables are called as global variables. Next, C out, enter the values of A and B. We are asking the user to enter the values of A and B using standard input device. The user will enter the values of A and B. After accepting the values, here in the next section, we are calling the function. We are calling the function to perform addition of two numbers. C is equal to add A comma B. So, this is called as calling function. This is called as calling function. So, the calling function, what is the syntax of calling function? Variable is equal to function name, then argument list. So, the variables in the calling function are called as actual arguments. Why they are called as actual arguments? Because these variables store the values even before they are used in the calling function section. Hence, these variables are called as actual arguments. Next, uh, after calling the function, the control is transferred to the called function. So, this entire thing is called as called function. This is the called function section. This is the called function section. So, what is this? Int add int x comma int y. So, the variables used in the function header are called as formal arguments. So, these are called as formal arguments. Why they are called formal arguments? Means these arguments will receive the values from the actual arguments. Hence, they are called as formal arguments. So, here x and y accepts the values from a and b. Suppose if the value of a is 10 and the value of b is 20, then those values are transferred to x and y respectively. So, here the value of x becomes 10 and value of y becomes 20. Next, what we are doing here? We are performing addition of two numbers. So, x plus y. After performing addition operation, the value is transferred with the help of return statement. So, this value will be received by the variable called c. So, after receiving the value, so in the next statement, it will print the values of that is addition of two numbers is c. So, what is the value of c here? 10 plus 20 is addition of two numbers. The value of c is 30. So, this is how we are going to write a program using 
function i hope you people have understood the concept of what is calling function what is called function what is an argument what is an actual argument and formal arguments local variables and global variables as well as function declaration thank you